Hey everyone, this is Zach from Mystic V, and today we'll be going through a few things related to my channel, current events in Yu-Gi-Oh, and finally, I'm going to end with an announcement. Starting about two weeks ago, my computer's ability to render videos has become problematic. Something related to either the computer's processor or the video editing software. I keep getting blue screened when I go to render a video, eventually leading to me losing interest in making content. While that does suck, it's not a complete deterrence anymore as I've realized that there are still many ways to make videos beyond my normal means, as you can see here. That being said, until I can fix up what's going on with my computer, things may run a little slower in terms of video output for the channel. Rest assured, I'm doing my best to get things up to speed again, but it'll just take time. With that in mind, let's turn our attention to Yu-Gi-Oh! And thanks to the official TCG blog, take a look at the current events coming up for the TCG this summer. As always, you can find a link to the information yourselves in the description below. I'll be effectively running down the line of the currently listed dates as of the 10th of June 2017. Come June 12th, the new Forbidden and Limited list will come into effect. This officially mars Elder Entity Norden Restricted, and the Pendulum Magicians get to go free among other things. So get your decks in gear, because this format will now officially be owned by the True Dracos. On June 23rd, the Pendulum Evolution side set launches with the soon-to-be-irrelevant Magician Pendulum Monsters. This set is effectively a foiling out of the OCG structure deck of the same name, as well as a mass reprinting of many of the most powerful Pendulum cards in super rare form. This set is 60 cards and contains two ultra rares in each pack. This is a final attempt at Konami's part to give us one last hurrah before Link summoning beats Pendulums in a single swing. For the sake of legality, this set will be legal for all upcoming World Championship qualifiers in everywhere but Central and South America. Here is a list of current dates set for the events coming up. With money ready to light on fire on July 7th, we'll be storming our local card shops at the release of the long-anticipated Battles of Legend Light's Revenge side set. This set is filled to the brim with a massive slew of powerful cards from the last two years of the game. Sure to reprint must needed and sought after cards, this set will also have, as many are aware, a chance at snagging Minerva the Exalted Lightsworn. I, for one, am very excited for this set, as new support for Gladiator Beasts, apparently powerful and synchronizing Xyz monsters finally receiving reprints, as well as a chunk of anime exclusive cards finally brought to the real world, shows that this game, hopefully, will be getting better as time goes on. The shift in how we all play the game comes on July 21st with the release of the starter deck Link Strike. This pack introduces the new game board format as well as the much awaited Link summoning format to the TCG. In the article, it is mentioned that a few OTSs will also have access to a special two player mat that allows people to see the brand new field with the extra monster zones. Coming the days to follow, July 22nd and 23rd are Yu Gi Oh! Day, in which OTSs will be hosting Link Strike sealed structure deck tournaments where players can compete on equal playing ground to win an above-mentioned Link Summoning game mat. July 29th and 30th will be the sneak peek dates for the first of the Vrain series of main boosters, Code of the Duelist. Introducing brand new Link monsters such as Firewall Dragon, this set will also introduce the first ever Link archetype in the form of the Star Grails. The remaining support will include Twilight Sworn, the remaining Zark archetype, as well as two new TCG exclusive archetypes that are currently unknown. The name of the promotional ultra rare card is known as Vendred Hound Horde. This set drops on August 4th. With the release of the new Vrain series, a new OTS pack will make its release day following it in the form of OTS pack 5 on August 5th. On August 12th and 13th, prepare for a year's worth of events for the TCG World Championship. Due to unforeseen events, the event that was set to happen in London will now be set in Japan. Good luck to everyone who's made it, let's cross our fingers that the US can take home the gold this year. Following the World Championship, the beginning of the Code of the Duelist season will now begin with regionals and YCSs, most likely with a new Forbidden list following these events. This is a big heads up from Konami, as they are now explaining that, quote, Once we begin seeing results come in, we can take a look at the current tournament environment and start planning for the new Forbidden Limited list update, which probably would be mid-September at the soonest possibly later, depending on how the tournament scene looks. August 25th is the release of the 2017 Megatins, featuring the last year's worth of main sets converted into the Mega Pack form. Each tin comes with Pot of Desires and Proxy Dragon, as well as other cards such as Elder Entity Natis. This is the first release of Proxy Dragon and Natis to the TCG, and I am very excited to see more of the Lovecraft Mythos archetype as it pours in from the void. 
Last but not least, on September 8th, the Legendary Duelist side set will hit stores, introducing tons of unprinted and never-before-seen cards from many of the original series as well as from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX's cast. Be prepared for new Amazonists, Cyberdark, Red Eyes, and Droids support coming at the end of the summer season. That finishes up this update on the current events of the Summer of Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, on to my personal announcement. Coming up soon, I will be helping operate a small YugiTuber tournament in which players can compete for a chance at entry into the YugiTuber Grand Championship of 2018 run by SEMO. Keep an eye out for future updates related to that. This is the first release of information, and I'm happy to share with you, my fans, before we begin the preliminaries of signing up for it. That being said, I want to thank everyone for supporting this channel and my goal to provide quality content to a community that matters. You were all wonderful, and I wish you guys a great summer of fun and good health. This is Mystic V, and I'm signing off.